it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome, happy Planmas, and welcome to a day in my life. It is Thursday, and believe it or not, Thursday is my favorite day of the week, which is a really super weird day to have as your favorite day, but it's like usually my have fun self-care kind of day, and I'm gonna bring you along for that today. Right now, this is what the bedroom looks like. Everything is all piled up, ready for the sheets to be changed. Thursday, reason number one why it's my favorite is it's actually cleaning people day. And I am getting ready to go to spin class, so I need to get dressed. We got pants, sports bra, an exercise shirt, and then a sweatshirt, which I just got from Stitch Fix. Let's put them on. All right, let's go. I actually only kept this because I was keeping everything else in the box and I wanted to get the 25% discount uh, because it was more than the cost of the shirt. But actually now I'm super happy that I kept this. It's really, really cute. Before I leave, I'm also gonna change the laundry. I start the sheets and the towels usually. Uh, and then the cleaning people will fold everything and put it away, which is so nice. It is full on winter, so we need this coat. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how cold it got. This is my no kids grab and go wallet pouch, keys, water bottle, cause we are going to workout class, and my phone, which I just looked around for but realized I was filming on, and that's it, I'm ready to go. I am back in the car after a very fun spin class and then a very, very indulgent breakfast. Uh, if you like love the Moxie Life affirmations and all of that stuff, I think you would probably really like Soul Cycle. I just feel like it's a very uh, positive environment in there. The teacher pretty much just like calls out all the exercises and then follows that up with just like a never ending chant of affirmations. Really like it. I mean, I just really enjoy the darkness of the room, which I feel like seems like a weird thing to say, but it's one of my favorite things about Soul Cycle. And uh, the only thing I don't like is it's incredibly, incredibly loud. Like it hurts my ears. So fortunately, uh, they do have plugs for your ears. I always feel like I'm the only one wearing them. And then I don't understand how anybody takes it when it's that loud because it's so loud. Um, but if I don't wear them, I like can't even enjoy the class because of how loud it is. <laughs> so grab your earplugs and enjoy. The cleaners are still at our house. I can see that on the ring alarm, but I'm gonna just stop home and like change out some of the stuff in my car. And then I just called and I'm gonna get my nails done in just a little bit. Continuing on with this very, very self-indulgent day. And I definitely am getting like red. I, I think I want like full on Christmas nails. So let's go. I am back. The house is clean. I've got a pile of folded laundry and some very gorgeous nails. Oh, I'm so obsessed with how they came out. And also, my biggest Black Friday purchase of the year, a brand new laptop is here. So exciting. I will show you my whole setup. I bought a new laptop two monitors and a docking station. I think later today, the keyboard and mouse that I also got, which those were from Amazon, the rest of the stuff is from Dell, will be delivered. And if you don't know, Dell actually has an outlet store where you can buy like new refurbs and they're in fantastic condition and you can save some money. So that's what we did. That's what we did last time we bought laptops as well. It's just really good deal. And then we had Black Friday sales on top of that. So all in the new laptop and like all of the stuff to go with it was around a thousand dollars. And this is our big purchase that we had been waiting for Black Friday sales to grab. Before I do anything else, I am going to take a shower because I have not done that since I've been to spin class. Always gotta check the position of the body sprays after the cleaning people have been here since they use that to clean the shower. I'm gonna dry my hair. This is the spray that I like to use before I blow dry. That's my current favorite. 
I usually brush my hair with a wet brush to get a lot of the tangles out and then to blow dry, I just use a regular paddle brush. But I do also have a ceramic ion brush that I like to use like on the very front and the ends. I do have the Dyson hair dryer. This was actually like a birthday gift from my mom several years ago. This, this thing is really expensive and I definitely would not have bought it for myself, but I'm so glad that I have it. It's honestly just like the best blow dryer on the planet. <laughs> So this was some Happy Mail that I got yesterday. This is actually the first thing I've ever bought off TikTok shop, like literally off the TikTok app. I've definitely seen things on TikTok before and then like gone and find them and, and then gone and found them somewhere else. But this is the first time that I've shopped from the TikTok shop. Uh, yeah, this is a new straightener. It's supposed to be like a comb and I saw so many videos for this. So I thought I would give it a try. And it was like just under $50, I think. Let's see here. It's got a little mini brush thing. A heat glove. Some clips. I don't usually use these kind of clips. I prefer like the big lobster ones. And this. Okay, that's interesting. Let's get this plugged in. I just let this heat up and it stopped blinking. Then I'm assuming that means that it's hot now. I'm gonna just like do this on my hair and then I will section my hair, but I just wanna see. Oh, wow, that's really hot. I have it on the hottest setting, uh, which is 410. Ooh, interesting. I feel like maybe doing it like this was, oh, wow, actually I can already see how big of a difference that is. I'm gonna just do like a quick, basically brushing of my hair and then I'm gonna section into some pieces. This is really fast. I also think this would be like amazing for touch-ups, like just to run your hair in the morning through if it's like not holding perfectly after a rainy day. My hair holds really well once it's straightened uh, as long as there's not rain. All right, let's do the top layer together. So this definitely works better than any straightening brush I've ever used before. Like, yeah, this works as good as like my current flat iron, I would say, uh, which is not like a super expensive one, but it is like a very highly rated one. Um, I did blow dry my hair first, of course, which you saw. But the people on videos who are saying like one pass or two passes with this and your hair is just like perfectly straight. Well, <laughs> I, I would say that that is probably, at least not for my hair, that's not working. I'd say I'm probably doing like three, four passes. But it's really easy to use. It gets super hot. I, again, I have it on the highest setting, but you can put it lower and I like that it it's really easy to tell whether it's all the way heated up or not. Really easy to use, like even easier to use than a flat iron. I kind of wish this had been a thing when I was in like junior high and learning how to straighten my hair. Especially for the back, right? Like, you know, that, that kind of like classic 13 year old look where you missed a huge section in the back and didn't realize it. That was definitely me. That was definitely me. Certainly $50 well spent. I have a lot of hair. Usually this time of day, I would not be putting makeup on uh, because it's, you know, just whatever. But I, one, I'm filming a vlog right now. And then two, I also have to do a video call uh, for work immediately after this. Well, my only work thing for my freelance business I have to do today. Um, so I am just going to put on like a little bit of makeup and you can see my two second makeup routine. Bobbi Brown stick concealer. I just really prefer like the stick or like the cream, the little cream pots uh, to the more liquid one. And I mostly just go at the top of my cheeks and my under eyes. And then I do cover up the little burn spots on my face. I am like a little bit red, probably should have waited to cool down a little bit, but it's, it's fine. I will have to look in the mirror to make sure that I've blended this. Hard to do on the phone. 
do not know how all those beauty TikTokers do it. I don't cover up the spots on my neck, um, but I do just get that the last like couple little ones on my face. <laughs> Some classic Bare Minerals. This is I've like tried different foundations. This is really like the only thing I like. I don't like to feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, and this is just a light powder. It's got a very matte finish. And then just a teensy bit of a blush bronzer palette. This is from Coastal Scents. I don't even remember where I got this. It looks like it's a sample box, but I really like it. Eyelash curler. And my favorite mascara, which is Thrive Cosmetics. And my 100% favorite all-time lip product, Clinique Black Honey. Literally it, like, unless I was going to a wedding or somewhere super fancy, that's pretty much the most makeup I ever wear. Let's take a quick look at what's going on in my office, then I'm going to hop on my call, and then we're going to get some stuff set up. So this is my filming desk. It used to be my all-in-one desk, and I did, like, all of my work stuff in there, too. I am moving all of, like, my computer stuff and my work stuff over to the other side of the office. And I also recently got a new desktop from Ikea so that it's like nice and clean and perfect for filming out, loving it. Uh, and I also got a few new cabinets from Ikea as well. Those are my like clothes storage ones. This one is completely full of stickers and this one has like pen extras and sticky notes and all kinds of stuff like that. I've been really into stands lately. There's my Laurel Denise planner. Everything's like really put away right now because the cleaning people were here. Then we've got my wall of washi. Um, a pile of Moxie Life and other planner stuff that I need to like figure out what I'm doing as we move away from 2023 and into 2024. Then we have this whole wall piece right here. I've got the big Moxie Life calendar. I don't think I'm going to be getting that printed again. I tried to like really use it. I really, really like it, but I don't think I $50 a quarter like it is how I would describe it. Um, I have like a bunch of pens and different cases over here. And then these were my planner cases and I recently got another Kalex and another closed storage cabinet. Um, and then I've just been working on kind of cleaning stuff up and piling things. I've also got a whole pile of things that I bought at Target on Black Friday. So then this desk over here is gonna be my new setup. The monitors and the docking station came earlier in the week and there is the new laptop, which I'm gonna open as soon as I'm off this work call. I'm gonna do the work call on my old laptop, but that is what the setup looks like. Right now we just have a folding chair there. I may buy a second like nice desk chair. I can always roll my other one older. And then there's just like a bunch of random stuff kind of piled up in here as well. It gets a little bit messier as you go in, but. I do eventually this month want to kind of like rearrange some of my stuff and put like old planners more away and have new planners for 2024 more out. I've got stuff in like that pile over there that's like main planner stack and some stuff that I will be gifting along this month and during giveaways. So I've got to kind of sort through all of the things. But that is everything, how it all comes together in the office. So I'm going to do this work call and then we can set up a new laptop. This is a newer version of the same laptop I had. It is an XPS and it is a 13 inch laptop, which is my size preference. Ooh, looks super nice. So I'm gonna leave the charger in a bag because I'm gonna plug it into this. My old charger will work with this laptop. And then I think that's part of the charger too. Little converters as well. What do we got here? Okay, so this is plugged in. I don't think the monitors are set up right now. I don't think I did that. So. Starting up. So apparently computers are kind of like phones now and allegedly if I was signed into my windows it's gonna like transfer everything over. We'll see how well that works. Some of the software programs that I had installed I think it'll probably work for like all of like Excel, Outlook, all that kind of stuff, but we'll see what I have to still sign into. And we'll also see if it works with like my Adobe stuff, which I use for editing 
and my other programs that I have, but it looks super nice. I'm very happy with this. I don't have my keyboard and mouse yet, but they, uh, they should be delivered today from Amazon. I did buy like a super aesthetic keyboard. So we'll see how I like that. It was not expensive. So if I don't like it, I can just get a new one. So I'm down in the living room. I just got a bowl of cereal and granola. The granola is actually homemade. I made it for a brunch this weekend and we still have some left and the kids don't really like it. So I'm gonna eat it. Uh, and I have my Kindle here. Just started Iron Flame, which is the sequel to Fourth Wing yesterday. I just got it from the library on Libby. I buy almost no books. I read a ton. Um, almost everything that I read is either from the library or from Kindle Unlimited. It's like pretty rare for me to actually purchase a book. Usually if I'm buying a book, it's a book that I really, really like that I think I'm gonna reread again and again. Otherwise, I just feel like I read through things so fast and I just absolutely love the library. I love taking the kids there and going in person, but I also really just love Libby. And my hot tip on Libby and eBooks from the library, which I actually got from Samantha Plans and Reads over on Instagram, is that sometimes a larger city in your state will allow you to get a library card even if you don't live in that city. So I don't live within the city limits of Philadelphia, but I have a Philadelphia library card and their selection of eBooks is so much larger than our local library. I So on my Libby account, I have linked to my Philadelphia card and my local library card and I'm able to browse both from that way. And Philadelphia library has just so much more. So that is my hot tip. If you are a library reader with a Kindle, check the major cities in your area because they're gonna have like way more eBooks. Time to pick up the kiddos from school and then they have piano after school, but that is at our house. Then I'm gonna make them their own little kiddo dinner tonight because Thursdays we do takeout after the cleaning people have been here and we eat after the kids have gone to bed. Every other night of the week we eat all as a family, but on Thursdays my husband and I eat after the kids have gone to bed. We are actually having that for dinner, so. Is it gonna be cooked? Uh, I can cook it or you can have it cold, either one. Can I have it cold? Yeah, sure. One, two. No teeth. So we're just having some snacks and cleaning up backpacks and my Son got his first week of homework back today. Like, so, so cute. Love kindergarten homework. Also, when we got back, there was a lot of Amazon packages at our door. So let's take a look and see what we got. This is the last of the bedding for my youngest's room that we were waiting for. It's me. Yeah, it's for you, honey. Yeah. Got this I ordered for my office. Although I did think it was metal and it looks like it's plastic, but so cute so we can see what that looks like well that's cute and it feels really really sturdy with like the way it slots in so we'll take that upstairs and then we have this last big one which i think this is the mouse and the keyboard i also forgot that i ordered these pjs off lightning deals What's that? this is my new keyboard it has a brush in it it is real no it isn't it's pink keywords can be pink it's actually called i think latte color so super, super cute. It is like a full size keyboard. See how I like typing with these round keys. And here's the matching mouse. So I'm gonna take those upstairs as well. I have like all different colors, but I got that one. PJs, they feel really, really soft. Ooh, I like that. I also thought that these in particular be very cute for Planjama at Go Wild this year since they're such a fun and funky pattern. What, honey? It was beautiful. It is, it's beautiful. And then we've also just got a plain black set. I'll wear one of these later so I can try them on. And that is the baby's new bedding, which was also a Black Friday purchase. Super, super cute. The kids are having plain spaghetti with sausage and peas. And my husband said we could order whatever I wanted for dinner because he was super hungry, so I am strategizing. And my new favorite trick for getting the kids to come up for dinner Alexa, turn off all the TVs. Okay. And then they just come running. Kids are in bed and now it is time for takeout. We got Vietnamese. All right, so I have the new PJs on, which I 
super love and also they have pockets so very excited about that i am gonna sleep in these i am gonna get all ready for bed we enjoyed a really nice dinner and i was just so happy because all i wanted to do was watch julia which is the julia child show on max while eating dinner because <laughs> just like the perfect show to eat to and um, then we had an episode so we watched that our first time eating in front of that tv in the new basement so that was also very exciting very cozy now i'm gonna take off my makeup, get ready for bed, and read more Iron Flame. Probably too late because it's just really hard to put down. That book just, yeah, it does not disappoint, at least so far after fourth wing. It really, like, the pacing on those books is so intense. It's really hard to put them down. That is it for today. So thank you for spending this truly wonderful day with me. I hope you enjoyed watching. Come back tomorrow. I will have another Play on Miss video. Hope you all also get to do some indulgent self-care things. Let me know one of your favorite self-care things to do in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and come back tomorrow for another Play on Miss video. You can also check me out on Instagram and TikTok at My Crafty Plans for even more planner fun. And I I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.